What's up guys, we're back, it's Friday, I'm smiling, and why is that? Because we get to debunk some bullshit. It's what the fitness, let's go. We have a video from Eddie Abu. Now Eddie was an IFBB pro bodybuilder back in the day, back when I first got into bodybuilding. And I wouldn't say he was like one of my favorite bodybuilders, but I thought he had awesome physique. And now in retirement, he spends his days talking nonsense. Let's see what he has to say. Ways to boost muscle growth. Eat more eggs. An egg, when you eat an egg, 48% of the egg can become tissue. When you eat protein powders, whey protein. Wait, 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 wait. Where did he come up with these numbers? Where is that number from, Eddie? Like, what citation? I'm sorry. So if we look at the bioavailability of egg and whey protein, originally, the bioavailability scale was based on egg protein because it was considered best. It was rated at 100. And then whey protein came along and was actually more bioavailable than egg protein and it's rated at 104. So now the scale has actually changed and whey is 100 and egg is like 97 or something like that. I can't remember exactly. These dudes make up 100% of these numbers on the spot. They're, like there's no citations. Like when I tell you guys numbers, there's like this PMID which is PubMed ID, which is you can take the number, put it into PubMed, and it spits out a study that you can read for yourself because I'm not full of shit. Let's see what else he says. Powders, whey protein, it's about 16, 17%. Animal protein is better for you, especially eggs. Uh, whey is animal protein, protein, the best protein bro. protein on the planet. Sleep and rest is important. When you're in the gym, you're not building any muscle. You're tearing them. That's how the body works. The body likes to break things down and build it back up. Make sure you get a decent amount of sleep. That's okay, like, but the idea that you're not building muscle in the gym, I mean, I guess technically that's correct, but even if you didn't sleep, you're initiating muscle protein synthesis, sleep will enhance that effect. You can still build muscle if you're not sleeping well, but sleeping well will absolutely enhance your gains. So, you know, credit where credit is due, sleep is one of the best ways you can enhance your gains. So, bravo, Eddie. You weren't completely full of shit on that one, so that's good. It's always a problem when these videos are like so long and they make so many bullshit claims. It's like you gotta like go through systematically. Days. Resting is as important as your training. And then the third, to replace everything you eat with real food. Ditch mm. every processed food. Ditch all the wheat. Ditch all the sugar. We never had any sugar when you're bodybuilding. The only time you need carbohydrates really is running your training. Ditch the bloody bagels. Bagels, not food. Pasta. That's one of the last things we would have eaten when we were training. Sweet potatoes, they contain the right micronutrients. Even wild rice, jumbo oats, or silka oats, all these are proper carbohydrates and proper food. Ditch all that processed shit. I know plenty of bodybuilders who would like take 100 grams of dextrose right after training. Arnold talked about how he'd drink beer. So here's the problem with anecdote, guys. What makes your anecdote better than someone else's anecdote. And you can say, well, I'm super jacked and I was you know, massive back in the day. So the most successful bodybuilder of all time, most muscular human being in the history of mankind is Ronnie Coleman. He used to eat French fries and douse them with ketchup. He's bigger than you. He has more muscle than you. Therefore, everyone should be having French fries and dousing them in ketchup. Sure, like uh, people will say, well, Ronnie Coleman was on steroids. And you don't think Eddie was on steroids too, guys? Like, please. Take your brain and like, turn it on. Like I know it's dead sometimes, but like just, you know, just, just think every once in a while. Like just have a, a thought going through your head. Like just be skeptical about stuff, you know. You don't have to just go, oh yeah, Eddie, that's right. He's muscular, so he must be right. Plenty of other muscular dudes have eaten processed food and still gotten jacked. Am I advocating for processed food? No, in general, is the advice he's giving bad in terms of like sweet potatoes, steel cut oats? No, that's not bad advice. I mean, in terms of like foods that are health promoting, those are fine. But scaring you saying, you can't build muscle unless you ditch the processed food is complete fucking nonsense because we have, I don't know, millions of examples of people who have built muscle eating processed food. What I would say is, Eddie, why can't you just say the same thing, but just say, hey, these foods are better for satiety and they have more fiber and they're more health promoting instead of like fear mongering stuff. And guys, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about this is because misinformation harms people. One of the biggest pandemics of our day is that of eating disorders. Eating disorders have the highest fatality rate of any mental health disorder 
even more than depression. And this sort of fear-based misinformation promotes people having disordered eating habits because it scares them. They stop eating certain foods because they're scared of them and that creates disordered mindset in their mind. Now, I'm not saying Eddie is at fault for it or any one person's at fault for it, but all of this misinformation contributes to food anxiety and disordered eating patterns. So please, stop the shit. All right, guys, I'll catch you next week.